Thank you very much, Sam. And uh, it's really a tremendous honor to be able to be here today uh, with Secretary Wilkie and Under Secretary Reeves, uh, our Governor Mark Gordon, and, and all of you. Uh, and a special honor and privilege to be here to help dedicate uh, this, this sacred ground. Uh, there is um, really nothing that I do as Wyoming's representative that is more important to me um, and more important to uh, our state and our country than the work that we do on behalf of our veterans and on behalf of those who are currently serving uh, in our armed forces. Uh, across the country, uh, certainly in Washington, um, we all know and recognize that the freedoms that we enjoy uh, the freedoms that we are able to exercise every single day, uh, we only are able to do that because of brave men and women like you who have stepped forward, who've answered the call, and who put on the uniform of this nation. There are um, many veteran cemeteries across this country, uh, including cemeteries uh, on battlefields, uh, particularly Civil War battlefields. And there's one in particular uh, at Antietam. At the cemetery at Antietam, there's a statue of a Union soldier who stands at rest and he looks out over the graves of his colleagues, his brothers who fell in that battle. And the inscription on that statue says, not for themselves, but for their country. And I think that is something that we all need to pause every day, and particularly on a day like today when we're here to uh, commemorate, to dedicate the cemetery, uh, that it is because of the selfless service of all of you that we live in freedom. It's a call that generations since the beginning of our republic have answered, a call that future generations will have to answer. And uh, I know that I and, and uh, all of Wyoming's elected leaders, certainly, uh, Secretary Wilkie, Under Secretary Reeves, all of us who are here, uh, our Cheyenne mayor as well, all of us know that our task and our responsibility in representing all of you is to make sure that we conduct ourselves in a way that is worthy of the sacrifices that so many have made and continue to make. So I am uh, very honored to be here pleased to be able to be here on such an important day and such an important moment uh, and proud of all that we are able to do every day to help to support uh, our, and remember our veterans and those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you very much for your service. Thanks for what you do for all of us. Uh, and it is my honor now, uh, I believe, to turn things back over to Sam for Governor Golden's remarks. Thank you very much.